What up, guys? It is your host, Amber, here. We are going to be talking about PopCon today. It is a new convention that is coming here to Louisville, Kentucky, and we want to tell you all about it so we can see you there with us. The CEO of PopCon did come into town earlier in February to take a look at the venue that they're going to be using to do the map layout and all sorts of stuff like that. But once they were done there, a barrage of information came out for this convention, and we are going to tell you what to look forward to. So the exhibitors, Artist Alley, and things like that have not been announced yet, but they have done a bunch of different celebrities. So here is the list that is current as of today for celebrities that will be there for you to enjoy. First off, there's a couple of video game voice actors that we know of that are going to be there. Um, one of them is going to be Roger Clark, who is also known better as Arthur in the Red Dead Redemption 2 game. Then you have Rob Whitehoff in the Red Dead Redemption series, who played John in both Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2. Then you've got the big Disney man himself, Jim Cummings. If you've never heard of that voice, then you don't watch Disney because this man has done everything possible in Disney. You've got Winnie the Pooh. Oh, bother. You've got Tigger, you've got Pete, you've got Darkwing Duck. Let's get dangerous! He does some singing voices whenever actors can't sing, so like he did Scar in The Lion King. There's just so many different things that he has done. This is a big one for PopCon in Louisville. Then you're going to be hit with a bunch of different anime voice actors from things such as Fairy Tale, My Hero Academia, Dragon Ball Z, and the Demon Slayer anime. So first off, you've got Brittany Karboski, who is also known as Wendy from the Fairy Tale series. She's also Ramiru from that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And if you're not familiar with anime, yes, that is a title. Then you have Chris Wetkamp, who is also known as Aizawa from the My Hero Academia series. He's also known as Edgeworth in the Phoenix Wright Attorney games. Edgeworth is an edgelord, and I can't wait to see him at this convention. Then taking a little bit more of a turn to the Western side of anime, we have got Dante Basco. He is well known for the older generation as Rufio from the movie Hook back in the 90s, but he also played Prince Zuko in the Avatar Last Airbender show. Going back to the anime side of things, you now have J. Michael Tatum, who is going to be there, which for the anime side of things, he is in My Hero Academia. He played Sebastian in the Black Butler series. Um, but for me, he is most well known as Sir Hammerlock from Borderlands 2. And I'm going to have him sign this baby right here because my favorite line in that show has to do with Claptrap. Apologies, but when Claptrap speaks, I feel my brain cells committing suicide one by one. I shall be out directly. Then you have Justin Cook, who is known as Ejiro from the My Hero Academia series. Um, he has also done a ton of different Dragon Ball things, such as Cell Jr., um, Raditz, Dende, all sorts of different characters from there. Um, too many to name. There are like 40 on that list, uh, including additional voices. Also on the list is a video game and anime individual, Todd Haberkorn. He is known as the main character, one of the main characters in the fairy tale series, Natsu, but he is also the drifter in the Destiny series, which is one of my favorites. He really makes the game for me. Gambits for the win. All right, all right, all right. Then you have Richard Horvitz, who is known as Zim from the Invader Zim series. The filthy earth boy lies! And here recently, he is also known as Moxie in Hell of a Boss. If you've been to a convention with him in it, you know that he is just a huge ball of energy. So it's nice to see that they're going to have him at this convention. I think that he's going to do really well here in Louisville. Going back to the My Hero Academia list, you have Brandon McInnes. He plays Sir Night Eye in My Hero Academia, but here recently for Demon Slayer, he played Gutaro, one of the demons in the latest season. Alexis Tipton also joins in from the My Hero Academia. She plays Mei Hatsume, but she's also known as Kid Trunks from the Dragon Ball series, Dragon Ball Super. Then we have Erica Harlack, who also plays Elizabeth in The Seven Deadly Sins, and she is also in the Demon Slayer series as Shinobu Kocho, one of the Hashira. Then it goes into a couple of different people from TV series. Um, one of them in particular, her name is Tiffany Rice. Now this one's a little bit different than the rest of them, even from the TV standards, because she is on Paranormal Crossroads. Now, I'm a huge fan of paranormal shows, and this is not one that I've seen nor heard of, um, but she is one of the mediums that is on the show. So it's nice to see that, yes, it is PopCon. Yes, it is known as pop culture, but we're throwing everything into this mix. So we do have some paranormal investigators. Now you have Cooper Andrew, who is known as Jerry from the Walking Dead series. 
Then you have Scott Patterson, who is also known as Luke from the Gilmore Girls. So it's a really nice array of different people that are going to be here. Um, they've already posted out like the press information and whatnot. So if you are someone who does YouTube or a local journalist or anything, you now have the option to see what is available for you. Um, you can enter in your booths, panel information, everything like that. Um, but they have promised that they are going to be putting out a bunch of different actors and guests that are going to be there at the convention in June up into June. So there's a lot of different stuff that it sounds like they have planned. This is the first year for PopCon here in Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, usually they have it up in Indianapolis, Indiana, and it's been there for about 10 years. And so this is the first year that they're expanding. So it'll be nice to have this as the first time here and we get to cover it. With that being said, we are going to be there covering this convention. So if you see us walking around, we will have something on to show from Nerding Out TV. Um, if you see us walking around, Give us a chat. We want to see what your experience is at this convention for the first time because we want to keep this one around. We unfortunately have not had a convention in this area for quite some time for many reasons and we want to keep this one around. That is going to be it for us today though. Definitely keep up with us for more PopCon information. Um, the next episode we are going to go over Cobalt Press's new game. They just released their first packet of information which has mostly just couple of races, some different things like uh, experience and stuff like that, um, the different attributes and stuff you can take for those classes or for those races. Um, the second one is going to be coming out sometime in March, which will go into the different classes that you can play, but we are going to do a deep dive into the first packet. Thank you so much for joining us on this PopCon adventure. Definitely keep up with us. You can definitely subscribe to us down here at the bottom so that whenever you need to know your nerdy news, you can rely on us.